Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over my favorite lip liners, both in color as well as formula. This video idea was in my comments section, so thank you to whomever you are. I didn't screenshot it. I really need to get better about screenshotting things, but I just remember somebody asking about my favorite long wear formulas of liners. Now, I thought about just doing my favorite long wear, however, there's a few that I like that aren't long wear. So I was like, you know, I can't really separate them into two different videos. So I'm gonna put them all in one. I will swatch them on my hand. We'll do the little rub test and see which ones are truly long wearing. But I'm just gonna share with you all of my favorites. Two of my favorite liners that are not long wearing are no longer available. I still use them because I have plenty of backups, but these are not available anymore. However, if you happen upon them, I love both of these colors. The first one is number 49 Natural from Rimmel. And then this is Bite Beauty number 20. I wish they still had this. It's so creamy and really easy to put on. But yeah, it's not super long wearing. I just really like the color. And for me, it's a little bit more difficult to find truer nudes. That is one of the reasons why I made Kitten. I wanted a more neutral pink, very long lasting, and I wanted it to be lighter. A lot of the times, the liners just, they can be a little too dark. I don't have a lot of pigmentation to my lips and I am a lighter skin tone. And I don't like to have the liner kind of peeking through a light nude. It just irks my nerves, it irks my nerves. So some of these, I'm gonna be talking about formula, but I'm not going to say, hey, this is one of my favorite colors because they just don't have the colors that I want. But if they have the colors that you want, these are liners that I do enjoy. Now let's go ahead and jump in. And I wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna be swatching these on my hand, but I'm also going to be putting a picture at the end of everything. So at the very end, before I say goodbye, I will have a picture of all of the liners swatched so you guys can see them a little closer. All right, I'm not gonna go put these in any particular order. I'm going to be pulling them out of <laughs> my refer box. <laughs> I have so many of these boxes everywhere. They just keep me organized. And I am going to be just showing you guys them and talking about them. The first two are from Pat McGrath. This is a very long wearing formula. And I have two here. The first one is Half Naked. I think this is one of the newer ones. I have to be careful with this one because with a light pink nude, this can go a little gray on me, so I just have to be careful. You can kind of see that gray undertone to it, but did you just see the glide? Oh my goodness, these glide on so nicely and they last really well. And this other shade is in Structure. There we go. This one is a little bit more of like a reddish brown, while this one is more of a mauve brown, I would say. And then if you wanted something a little bit darker, super natural. There we go. These two colors here are the ones that I use the most. This one I will use if I want to wear something that's a little bit deeper. Still a natural color, but just a little bit deeper. And yeah, I just need something lighter. I need something lighter. There's a shade, and I don't remember what it's called, but somebody was talking about it, and then I looked it up and it was sold out. <laughs> There's a lighter shade, and I cannot tell. Sometimes they are too pink. You know what, let me give you an example. This one right here from Charlotte Tilbury. It is Pillow Talk. <sighs> Great formula, but Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude, I think are some of the lighter shades. And they're just, this one is not necessarily too dark. It's just that it uh, it's a little pink for my everyday. These are more everyday liners for me. And I like this color. I love Pillow Talk, but on my lips, this can be kind of orangey, just a little bit. But the formula is really, really good. And I could not find my Iconic Nude but I like that one too. The Charlotte Tilbury is a long wear as well. And so is this one. This is from Marc Jacobs and it's the only twist up you're going to see in here. I do prefer pencils because I like to overline just a little bit. I have to even out my lips just a little bit and I find it a little easier to do if I have a really sharp tip. But with this one, all I do is, mm, why is this so, Oh my goodness, I can get the top off. There we go, <laughs> being all dramatic. I will twist it up to right about there and then just kind of sharpen it right on its side and then I'm able to get more of a crisp line and then I can fill it in. This is nudist, I believe it's nudist. Yes, it is nudist. 
this, this. I need more like this. <laughs> The next one is a coal liner, so not a waterproof, all day smudge proof wear liner. It's one that's going to last on your lips, but not through soup and <laughs> gloss and all of that. Still a really great pencil. It is from Wayne Goss and is in the shade Vintage Pink. I love this shade. I have gone through this and um, yes, I have backups because I need them. <laughs> you're gonna notice a theme here. I have my favorites, you're gonna notice a theme. <laughs> And he has several other ones, but this one is definitely the favorite. In fact, if you love the Rimmel one, you might actually like the Wayne Goss one. So you can see, let me see. This is pretty, I mean, they are pretty darn similar. Looking, let me build this one up a little bit more. Yeah, they're, they're pretty similar. They're, they're not identical, but if you are looking for a replacement of the Rimmel liner, you got it. That's why I like it so much. Do you guys remember how much I use this? I mean, I wore it and wore it and wore it until Kitten happened. You know what? Let's look at Kitten. So I had to take a little mini break because Chris Naudet literally, like, how do you get more perfect timing than that? I mean, I was sitting here talking about Kitten and I got my message. And so I started digging through my backups as I was trying to figure everything out. And I found one more kit and I have one more. Hopefully this lasts until we have the stock, which I'm gonna, gonna read some messages to you in just a second, but let me show you kitten. One of the biggest reasons why I was so excited about this collaboration are the liners. I tried Lisa Duncan's collection and I mean, they last so long and I was like yes I get to make my own color and it's gonna last that long sign me up and this is kitten a fresh one I'm a little scared <laughs> like how long is the restock gonna take because uh <sighs> do you see how this one's a little bit lighter than the other ones it's literally my perfect color it is my favorite and even if my name wasn't on it this color is impeccable I, I just love it. I love it so much. And let me show you smooches really quickly. This one was made for Kelsey Brianna Bay. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let me share this news. I'm really excited about it. Ah, I'm really excited. So first, beauty will be permanent. I don't think Puffin is going to be. It is in stock. Both of them are actually in stock. But beauty is going to be permanent. But then so are the liners. My message says there's going to be a restock. Of course, there is a major backup. Literally says major backup. <laughs> so that's understandable, completely understandable. But they are both going to be permanent. With the liners being permanent, they're also going to have new packaging. So if you see that, that is their new packaging and kitten and smooches are going to be permanent. I'm so excited about this and I will let you guys know as soon as I know when it is back because you guys, I'll be screaming from the rooftops. I will be so happy to have my kitten back. Gotta have my kitten. This one right here is also from Christian Audet and is the collaboration with Lisa, Lisa D1, Lisa Duncan and it's the shade Nude Sandal. So this is the one that I was talking about earlier when I said that I tried the formula and it was amazing. This is her perfect shade. Oh my gosh, she has amazing lips. Like, I, she has amazing everything. What am I saying, what am I saying? But this is a beautiful, beautiful color. All right, I'm sorry, but I have to put this in here because it's really good, it's really good. And it's from Lisa Eldridge. Again, I need more, I need so much more. This is the shade Muse. I'm gonna put it down here. Oh, do you see how well all these glide? And I love that this shade is a little bit more, it has a little bit more of the pinky, uh, ter it's like a pinky terracotta. So, so good. And then this one is ridiculously expensive. It truly is. It's a long wear formula. I wouldn't say this is nearly as long as some of these other ones. Still a long wear formula. It's from Sicily and it is the shade Nude. This is the one that I like to wear when I don't want it to be as pink. This one has a little bit more brown to it, but still, it's like a pinky neutral brown. It's it's so good. It is so, so good. So if I don't want it to turn pink and I want it to have a little bit more of the warmth to it, I reach for this one a lot. And I'm telling you, if I could find this color in a long wear formula somewhere else, I probably wouldn't spend this much on a liner because it's out there but I really enjoy the formula and I really enjoy the color. And I used to really like this side of it 
which is kind of like the Chanel ones. I don't know if Chanel still does this, but there's a little lip brush on the opposite side. I used to use this end and I don't anymore, but it's nice to have. So if you needed to touch up a lipstick or anything like that, you've got it right on the end of your pencil, but I don't, I just don't use it anymore. One more in the non long wearing category. I am a going to be adding this to my Sephora cart because <laughs> yeah we got a little little shorty here this is the artist color pencil in 602 completely is it yeah completely sepia we're gonna put this one here I told you there's a theme there is a theme <laughs> I actually have this one on right now I have my lips completely filled in and then I put on Gucci this is 102 Lorna Dune I believe I think it's a satin formula. I have this just all on top of the liner and it's a beautiful. And the last two are from Nabla. These are new. They are called the Close Up Lip Shapers and there's a range of nudes. My two favorite are nude one and three. So I'm gonna start off with number one, right there. And then this one is number three which is obviously deeper and they have all the way up to like a chocolate, so good. And you can see they just are so creamy and go on so nicely. This is the list right here. I'm gonna wait just a couple more minutes to let these set up and then we're gonna do the rub test. You know, I really should stop calling it the rub test and call it the long wear test. <laughs> that probably sounds a little bit better. Anywho, I've got my little Linda Hallberg puff and let's just go lightly. And I think you can see already this one right here is going. Which one was that? This is the Sicily one. I thought it lasted longer than that, but apparently not. So I'm going just a little bit harder. And as you can see, this one right here is going and over here is going a little bit. I think the only one that's left in the non long wear category is the Wayne Goss one right here. And I'm gonna go just a little bit harder. A little bit harder. And you can see like the longer ones really do last. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. I'm gonna have to, yep, we need a we need a cleanser. All right, give me a second. All right, they are all off of my hand. Again, if you wanna see the swatches, I am going to insert them now. Anywho beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my favorite lip liners when it comes to formula and color. If there's a different lip pencil that you think that I would be interested in or even a different color, you guys let me know in the comments section down below. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.